Hey fire signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, Fire Signs. It is always greatly appreciated. Uh, so quick announcement, you guys. This week, the weekly videos are officially going to be live on the Patreon platform. Um, so what that means is if you are viewing this video on YouTube, it is probably Monday. The Patreon uh, weekly videos will be posted in advance. There's early access to it every Sunday. Also, uh, those who join the Patreon will be able to see the weekly videos for each element in its entirety. So um, YouTube will receive partial video, partial message on Mondays, okay? So if you are interested in um, joining in on that content or any of the other perks to the Patreon, because I do upload bonus readings and other content, I'll put the link in the description box below um, and you guys can join from there, okay? If you choose to just continue on YouTube, Facebook, IG, that's totally fine. All of the support is always appreciated, you guys. So let's hop into it, Fire Signs. This is for the week of the 25th of September through the 1st of October, give or take a couple of days. Cross watchers are welcome here as well, okay? So let's hop into the music um fire signs the two songs i got for you guys this week uh the first one i believe these are both like up and coming artists but the first one is by amendi uh and the title of it is centipede and the second one is by milo um and the title of it is rewind and it's something about the energy this week fire signs it kind of feels like you are either realizing something about yourself or really realizing something about a particular person or the people around you in regards to um, it just being different. Because I'm hearing like cut from a different cloth. There's something about like your ambition or your mentality um, or something about like the way that you view life is very different. And it may be very different from someone that's close to you. This could be, you know, friends that you grew up with, siblings, etc. Uh, but the centipede song talks about how you, it talks about how butterflies won't form or won't transform or grow from centipedes. Right. Um, and there's, it's, it feel like it may be someone around you that is stunted. Okay. Or, or certain individuals that are around you that are stunted and you're seeing that clearly now. So it may be the fact that you are realizing that you can't really help or change or get, you know, a certain group of people or a certain somebody to kind of, um, it's like you can't teach ambition, you know, you can't get somebody to get out of their own way. You can't really force somebody to switch their mentality, etc. We got building blocks here. It feels like you are just on a different wavelength than, um, certain individuals around you, fire signs. And it's the energy of like, um, Deciding if you want to kind of keep trying to instill something in someone or if you just want to, you know, move forward because it may be detrimental to like your success and your progression, etc. at this time with this building block cards uh, card. But that's what I got from that song. Um, and rewind kind of gives the same energy. Uh, some of you guys may be wishing that you could rewind time. You may be wishing that you were aware of something a little bit sooner. You learned a lesson sooner. You knew something sooner about yourself or a particular person. Um, but a lot of you guys are reflecting too. So something could be happening this week with yourself, somebody in your life, fire signs. And I feel like you're correlating it to the past. Okay, you're correlating it to your childhood or when you first met this person or, you know, whatever, uh, whatever point in the past you're correlating it to it. And it's like you're realizing like, wow, OK, I did notice the signs way back when, whether this is in regards to you or, or someone else. Um, but you could be wishing that you could rewind time, wishing that you picked up on something a lot sooner. You know, maybe you could have helped. Maybe you could have did this. Maybe you could have did that. But it really feels like fire signs with this particular situation of person, um, there's really not much that you could have done to change the circumstances, okay? Um, and we got loyal heart showing up here too. And the centipede song talked about, you know, loyal being loyal, like loyal tendencies really can kind of get you in tough situations. 
Um, and it may be, you know, something, someone that you are loyal to or you have been uh, that it's kind of like getting in the way. And this could, this could even just be like a mentality, your upbringing, how you were raised, certain morals, certain values. Um, but there's no need to dwell on the past is really what I'm getting from it. Fire signs It's just need a need to like, uh, accept, move forward and act accordingly. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and, uh, hop into the messages. Um, also too, it's something about like, uh, so the centerpiece songs talked about like being born um around like enemies around savages and it kind of feels like for a lot of you guys it may be you know some of the closest people um to you because i'm picking up on leech energy that are leeches that are not really you know they may come off as they want better they want more but they're really looking for a handout or for you to help them or to like baby them or um to kind of like be codependent on you or something like that, fire signs. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the messages. If you have not already, please like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more I push your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. So we're going to start off with a couple of different Oracle decks um, and then we'll hop into the tarot per usual action. Everybody so far has gotten this uh card so i've done the air signs and the water signs and then now you and honestly uh the energy for you know libra season was about taking action to kind of like end things to change things um it just kind of feels like adjustments are required in a certain area of your life how you deal with certain individuals fire signs and i feel like you're taking that action this week so let's see Clear the confirmation from my Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius this week, Holy Spirit. I keep getting like you're not the same, like you're cut from a different cloth. You're not the same as certain individuals or you're not the same as a particular person. Maybe somebody's trying to make you out to be their equal, but you're not. Or maybe somebody is still holding your past against you. If you have uh, evolved and grown and mature and become better here, fire signs. Um, but we have wanders. We also have voyage here. It kind of feels like somebody is dependent on you or expecting you to, cause I'm hearing cradle, like cradle them through or carry them through a certain situation. And I don't know if this is a repetitive habit for this person, or maybe this is just occurring this week. Um, but somebody's, and I've been picking up on this, the same energy for y'all, this codependent energy, like this leech energy or like uh, this energy of, of certain people or certain person um, just not really being beneficial to your growth. So um, there may just really be a need for you to reflect on who's in your life and why. Okay, Fire Science is weak. Let's see. Um, and then forgiveness. But yeah, I keep getting somebody's like expecting you to carry, maybe carry their weight or carry them through a certain something here. Forgiveness is here and this could be um, you being called to forgive yourself or to forgive someone else, for someone else forgive others um, for whatever this is for the past, this we fire signs. Um, or I'm kind of getting the energy of you guys, you know, saying sorry, but I can no longer like I can't I can't continue. I can't do this. I can't do that. So maybe it's a conversation that you're having with someone or maybe it's a conversation that you're having with yourself this week. OK, it's a depart. I'm getting some sort of departure or some sort of traveling. So maybe you're traveling, um, actually, you know, traveling from one place to another this week as well. At the bottom, we have inner peace, okay? Um, water energy is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be significant. Um, but I feel like you're on a mission, fire signs. I feel like you're on a, uh, ooh, what song am I hearing? Um, ooh, is it kid? Pursuit of Happiness. That's what I'm, I'm hearing. Pursuit of Happiness is the song. Um, and it feels like you're on a mission for this inner peace. But it, it may require you to really forgive certain parts of yourself, parts of your past or other people um, or release and let go. OK, it's like your responsibility. There's a need for you to like to fully let go or to heal or I keep getting like forgive. OK, it could definitely be forgiving yourself. Illumination here. And here comes the inner peace, the wisdom. It's like, you know, better abundance. OK, healing chaos and community. 
when you know better, uh, you do better. And it may be some lessons, you know, some life lessons that took you longer than you would have liked, okay, um, to learn fire signs. But I feel like it's still all coming together. I feel like you're still learning the lessons. and But unfortunately, it kind of feels like certain individuals around you are not on that same wavelength, okay? They're not on that same um, maturity level. They're not really evolving. They're, certain people just want to be stuck or they want to stay stuck on the idea that they have of you, but it feels like you're not that person anymore. You've changed. Um, and honestly, fire signs, that's just, that's none of your concern. That's none of your business. And it, it feels like you're coming to terms with accepting that this week. So yeah, let's see what the wisdom Oracle has to say for you guys. New life. Okay. Um, an air sign could be significant. You can have it in your chart because the air sign, uh, I believe the title of their reading is something in regards to new life. Cheers to new life. Yeah. Um, and this energy is showing up here for you too. So it's like you're releasing the projection, what was said about you. You're releasing your expectations of people. You're releasing, um, wanting better for others that don't want good or better for themselves. Fire signs. It's like, you're really just shedding and letting go of like certain traumas, emotional, uh, burdens, mental, emotional, energetic burdens that's not really serving you anymore. Yeah, you're releasing the hold of why. You're not trying to figure out why something didn't work th work anymore, why somebody can't get it together. Like, you're just not trying to figure it out. Time for a nap. Yang. Okay, time to go. Clean it up. This one is face down. Let's see. And building blocks. This is the building block. So, yeah, it's like you're on to new and better. There could definitely be some sort of newness that's happening for you, a new start in a certain area of your life. Um, something is moving forward. So let's see. Orphan. Yeah. Y'all are e either leaving this, uh, lack mentality in regards to yourself behind, or you are just no longer holding yourself accountable or responsible for a particular low vibrational person or situation, like somebody who wants to be stuck in a certain energy, never ending story here. Okay. So let's see. Or some of you guys are, um, are just kind of coming out of that darkness. If this was just, you know, yourself, your own, um, internal battles, your own shadow work. I feel like you're coming out of that energy. Yeah. Happy, happy. Deciding to be happy with how things are this week. Okay. Taking things day by day. And I feel like that's really all you can do for your sign. So let's see. Wisdom Oracle. Ooh, serendipity. Message in the bottle. Message in the bottle. Serendipity. Okay. You guys could be receiving some good news this week also, or it's, it's something about like you finally getting the message. You finally getting the message. You finally learn the lesson. You finally getting the picture like you get it. So it could definitely be in regards to you, again, trying to change something for someone or something like that, fire signs. Um, but it's like you get it. You finally get something now. Fork in the road. Um, and it's no longer being stuck because the serendipity is facing away from this fork in the road, whether this was you or somebody that you're dealing with. Let's see what's at the bottom. And we have a leg up. So yeah, it's kind of like... Um, Again, for some of y'all, this is something very positive that's happening, okay? Um, for others of you, that's happening in your life. For others of you, it is the energy of somebody else finally getting it also, okay? So maybe when you let go of the rope fire signs, depending on how this resonates for you, maybe when you let go of the rope in regards to someone else, um, when you stop cradling a person or a situation, like they finally get it. It's something about you needing to remove yourself so that somebody can get the picture. Somebody can get the message. They can step up. They can do their part. They can pull themselves out. Higher power. Yep. Leg up. Higher, exactly what I just said. Yin in between worlds. Or it's something about you like just being happy with life, not trying to over control it, not trying to, um, you know, you want to plan ahead, etc. but not trying to over control it, overdo it. It's something about you surrendering to the divine, you letting go of the rope of something that is going to bring in exactly the results that you're seeking or what you're trying to manifest or whatever this message is for you. Okay. So it feels like you're really supported in whatever decisions that you're making this week, fire signs, there's just a need for you to trust, um, you know, more in yourself and your own decision making. For this to really come into fruition for you. So let's see what the tarot has to say. The high priestess really needing to trust in yourself and your intuition. That's what the high priestess is. This is also a uh, Pisces energy. This is also like a deep knowing. 
um, that could just kind of be coming over you guys this week. You could be picking up on different spiritual messages, downloads, or just really uh, like randomly have a knowing of about, about something, excuse me, about something that's going on. Um, and although you may not have the proof or although it may not make sense to others, it kind of feels like there's something that you're keeping to yourself, but it's, it's going to be confirmed this week. Okay. The eight of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, a lot of y'all are just moving in silence. You're working in silence. You're building in silence. Um, or it, you know, that it's just people in general or a, a particular person, um, that you need to you need to kind of keep this success or this happiness away from it kind of feels like you need to protect your energy protect what's going good in your life um because there's a low vibration